Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Lock Morning Tune, and I'm just here. I'm actually taking time out to do a painting today. That's why you guys don't really see necessarily see my face in the camera. You see this painting right here that I'm working on. So I decided to do a little painting vlog um, today because you guys have never actually seen me work on anything. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I mean, I wanted to come through. Um, during Mammoplasty May, which is what I'm calling this month, Mammoplasty May, because I have about three more days before I have to have a uh, breast reduction surgery, and I'm taking the time out to um, do something a little relaxing to relax myself before um, my actual surgery date. So, um, I just want to tell you guys a little story while I'm doing this, while you guys watch me um, somewhat finish this painting. Um, this abstract painting that I'm working on. Um, yeah, so let me tell you guys a story about, um, I guess, the moment I actually fell in love with art. The moment I really did fall in love with um, design and art and anything of that caliber. Um, and for those of you guys who don't know, I am a, a graphic designer. Um, I did go to school for it, um, graduated with a degree this past, um, last May, 2014. Last May, I graduated with a degree in, um, graphic design. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to tell you about the first time I fell in love with art. And, um, I was in high school, I was in, in the 10th grade, and, um, I was in art class with my uh, um, rest of my classmates and my art teacher. She actually assigned us, gave us an assignment to do three paintings. Now they could be of any size that we wanted them to be. Um, I personally always like going a little large, you know. But um, yeah, she told us that we could paint anything that we well, no, we had do one painting would have to be a portrait and then I forget what the other two paintings had to be um but uh yeah so I went looking through her magazines um that she had in the classroom for some inspiration and I came across this photo this magazine ad I don't remember what the ad was for but there was this little girl there it was a little white girl she had um red hair and she had um pigtails um, she had like bow pigtails with bows in them and she uh, was sitting at a grand piano and you could not see her face. You could only see her back. You could only see her back and the back of her head and you could see her shoulders and her arms, you know, sitting at this grand piano and you could see this big blue and white beautiful dress. And you could see the bottom of her stockings. She had white stockings on. And she had like black patent leather shoes. And they were crossed at the ankles. And um, and I saw this photo. And I said man I really, I really want to paint this. So um, I decided to paint that. And I asked her you know could I do it on a very very large canvas. And it was quite large. It was a whole lot larger than this one. It was really really big. So um, she said. As long as you think, you know, if you have time, sure, go ahead and do it. And I was like, okay. So I started working on it. And I did my sketches and everything for it. Sketched it out like I wanted to on the canvas. And then I went back in and I started, you know, I started painting. I got my colors together and everything. Now, as time is going by, I see, you know, other people in the class, you know, they're doing their, their paintings. And then I see them. Uh, move on to the next painting and you know remember I told you that um, we had to fix we had to paint three paintings three different paintings in a certain amount of time so um, time is going by and I'm watching everybody just they're continuing to paint their paintings and moving on to the next one in the meantime I'm still painting my little girl sitting at her piano and I'm taking my you know my own sweet time to do it and, um, yeah, so as times go by, you know, to make, to make this long story kind of short, 
Um, I never got finished. I mean, I never did the other two paintings. <laughs> I did. I, I never did the other two paintings. I only spent time doing the one painting. And, you know, if I do say so myself, I think it was excellent. I thought it was gorgeous. I, thought the, I don't even know what the painting is today. Like, last time I saw the painting was like 10 years ago. But I, um, I know I did a great job on the painting. For me, being that young at that age, I did a really good job. And, um, um, I got an A+. Plus on the painting and my teacher she told me she said you know I really do appreciate you going in and you know taking the extra effort to make your painting you know right you know you didn't just turn in any old thing you actually took the time to make sure that your painting was right and I told her that um that I enjoyed doing this like I really did enjoy doing it it was something that I fell in love with at the time and she said you know she said that's when you know you know that you're meant to be an artist when you find something that you really do truly you know love and that you're passionate about then you know that you're supposed to be doing that you know as a career or whatever and um and, it, and it, it just really just resonated with me. I was just like, wow, you know, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I knew I was supposed to be doing this. Like, I knew it from when I was little that I wanted to do something in art. But at that very moment when I was in high school, it got to the point where I was just like, you know what, this is something that I need. I, whatever I do in life, it needs to be art related, design related. So, you know... My and, and I didn't fail the class. I actually got an A in her class. Um, and it didn't take away from anybody else in the class that um, did their paintings. And they did really, really good paintings. And, you know, it's just that I felt the need to stick to my guns and really just stick to that one, that one painting. So, um, you know, basically the moral to this story is just, just, if you find something in this world that you, you know, you're passionate about, you know, do it because, do it because of that. Do it because you're passionate about it. Don't do things because somebody else is doing them. Don't do things um, simply because you, you think it's the cool thing to do. Do it because you really have a passion for doing something. I really do love art. I really do love being creative and even if you're not you know even if you do not think that you're an artistic person you know give it a try you really you really you really never know you know what you could be or what you could do or you know you really don't know until you try I mean you could try and then not like it but I'm just saying you know you know nothing beats a failure but a try you know, so, um, I really wanted to share that with you guys. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about this Wednesday and I'm really, um, at a point in my life right now where I'm trying to, uh, enjoy life. You know what I'm saying? I want to enjoy life and and if you can feel passionate about something, it'll make that much of your life more interesting. You know, I want to improve the quality of my life. And if that means, you know, becoming, you know, getting healthy and everything, I, that's what that means to me. You know, trying to take care of my, my health, take care of my body, eat right exercise do what else I need to do because believe me this uh this this uh surgery coming up mm -mm, it's just the beginning this is gonna help me you know what I'm saying it's gonna help me get my you know body where I need it to be um because I still have to exercise I'm still gonna have to eat right I'm still gonna have to move I'm still gonna have to you know practice 
better choices. Practice having better choices and things like that. But, um, yeah, guys. I'm sorry. I don't want to ramble because I know I am. But, um, yeah. This just, I just really felt the need to share this with you guys. Yeah, I mean, like yesterday I did, I went um, thrifting and everything. I really had fun doing that. I was thrifting because I was looking for, um, I was looking for large shirts. Big shirts that I'm going to, I mean, not big shirts, big shirts. Well, yeah, yeah, big shirts. I was looking for shirts that I'm going to be able to button down, you know, because I'm not going to be able to raise my hands over my head, but after surgery, I was able to pick up, you know, three shirts or so, you know, to wear after surgery and everything. And I had fun doing that. I actually posted a video to uh <laughs> to Instagram of me in the thrift store. Haha. <laughs> but um yeah guys, so I'm almost finished with this. Hope you guys like. I'm almost done with it. But I like doing abstract art. I really do. Um, I think I might do a couple of more pieces before I have surgery. I have, I think, two more um, canvases. But, um, yeah, guys. That's it. Um, with that being said, guys, I'm going to holler at you in my next video. And actually, the next video... Oh, excuse me. The next video that I do is actually going to be a body shot in my bra. I need to show you guys what I'm working with before I actually have surgery. So, with that being said, I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video. Alright, guys. Peace.